Now that we are at the beginning of a new year, I like to take a moment and look back at the past year and pick out the 10 best ham radio videos that I produced. Now this isn't an easy task as I have over 100 videos to sort through, not including the dozen or so live streams that I produced. But in looking at the numbers, there are a few videos that instantly float to the top. And there were a couple that kind of surprised me. But let's talk about those numbers first, because in 2024, this channel had over 1.6 million views and 134,000 hours of watch time. That's an 8% increase from the previous year, which I find amazing. The other thing that I'm excited about is that as we enter 2025, right now, the channel is hitting the 70,000 subscriber mark. I never really thought I would make it this far. Now, I couldn't do any of this without you, and I'm thankful for your continued support of this channel. I always feel I have the best viewers. The comments are insightful, and I love answering the questions I receive. This quality level gives me the incentive to continue on and maintain my schedule of producing high-quality content at a rate of about twice a week. With that being said, let's look at the top 10 videos for the last year. This year, antenna reviews dominated the list, which is kind of expected because I did quite a few reviews this last year. Now, I, I try to keep my reviews fact-based and practical, give real-world examples on how uh, the item would be useful, and I think this really helps the decision process if in an antenna or a product is right for you, and it shows by the high acceptance of these reviews. So, without further ado, here are the top 10 amateur radio videos of 2024. Starting off at number 10 is the review of the Chameleon F loop antenna. This is a magnetic loop antenna that offers operation on 10 through 80 meters, although it is best suited for the upper bands. If you're looking for a fun, portable antenna, or want something that will work in a limited space, like a condo or apartment, you really can't go wrong with it. I did a review on the Chameleon TDL, or Tactical Delta Loop, a few years ago. At the time, I was not terribly impressed, but I also only used it on 20 and 40 meters. For my number 9 video, I take another look at the TDL, and my opinion changes as I learn two things about it that I overlooked previously. We are at the crest of Solar Cycle 25, and the 10 meter band is red hot. For my number 8 video, I take advantage of the amazing propagation on that band and put together a simple J-pole style antenna for 10 meters made out of wire and 450 ohm window line. This antenna is not only inexpensive and easy to build, but will pull in some pretty amazing DX contacts. These next two videos are a bit different in content, but similar in their execution. It's my riff on a popular format and how I can add my own spin to it. It is really no secret that I love POTA or parks on the air, but a common question I receive is how do I set up and operate for an activation? Sitting at number seven, my POTA Secrets Revealed video takes you through the process all in real time of setting up a vertical antenna, connecting the transceiver, and making 10 contacts for an activation. At number six is my first step-by-step -step video. With plenty of first-person point-of-view shots and multi-camera editing, I show you step-by-step -step how I deploy an end-to-fed half-wave antenna, set up the radio, and make 10 contacts for a Parks on the Air activation. I hope this demystifies the process and inspires you to go out and make some contacts. I don't say this often enough, but your support of this channel drives the production of future content. Support us on Patreon to help keep the mission alive. Give us that thumbs up. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, especially if it's your first time here. That's your best way to be notified when a new video is released. With that out of the way, let's get back to the countdown. Coming in at number five is the Radiotity HF008 antenna review. This antenna is a base loaded coil with taps for each band. While I enjoyed the multiband aspect and compact size of the antenna, I found having to readjust the whips or stingers for each band to be cumbersome, and its low band performance was a bit lackluster. The Big Kansas Coil is an innovative 3D printed base loaded coil for vertical antennas, and it's our number four video of the year. The coil is lightweight and rugged, and I am generally impressed with its operation and performance. Last fall, I hit the fifth anniversary of being a Parks on the Air activator. Over those last five years, I learned a lot of things and made even more contacts over the air. I'm totally grateful for the experience and I share my favorite POTA tips in this video. Here's to five more years of Parks on the Air success. 
Now we are down to the last two videos, and if you're a regular viewer of the channel, you probably have a good idea of what they are. But before I begin, all I will say is what's next is become a bit of a game changer for me in how I go about my Parks on the Year activations. If 2023 was the year of the magic carpet, 2024 has been dominated by the linked elevated radial system. Dave introduced this topic in this video we did together using a single counterpoise radial to improve the performance of his elevated quarter wave vertical antenna and having links built into the counterpoise for easier band changes. But not wanting to be outdone, Greg KJ6ER came up with a better system and with his Porter Performa antenna. And that, my friends, is the number one ham radio video of 2024. The Pota Performer has been a game changer for me. I've long used ground radials and the Faraday cloth for my quarter wave vertical antenna, but elevating the antenna takes everything to a whole new level. Greg, KJ6ER, put a lot of time and effort into designing this amazing antenna system, and I'm ever thankful to be able to collaborate with him in producing these how-to videos. Greg's got some new designs up his sleeve, so please stay tuned for that. So there you go, the top 10 ham radio videos of 2024. Did your favorite make the list? Well, let me know what you think in the comments below. You can also find a playlist of these top 10 videos in the video description. Well, not mentioned in this top 10 list are my Parks on the Air activation videos. For those, I did a blooper reel called from all of those activations. Link to that can be found down in the description. But here are some plans for the coming year. I'm halfway through season 13 and I've got a couple antenna projects in the works and some exciting adventures with Dave, including the Minnesota and Wisconsin CUSO parties. Of course, Hamvention is coming up this May and I will be in attendance, so save that date. Uh, finally, my third annual Wisconsin Ham Radio Campout will be the first weekend in October. This event gets bigger and better every year and I can't wait to share it with you. Along with that, you can expect more Parks on the Air activation videos, product reviews, ham radio how-tos, and our monthly live stream. And of course, the normal cast of characters will appear, Joe, Dave, and Travis, for some wacky adventures. But I think the biggest addition this year will be more web-based content. I'm not the kind of person to put all of my eggs in one basket, so you're gonna expect more blog articles and written content and uh, photographic content. That'll be featured over on my website at www.jpol-antenna.com. Well, if there's a topic you'd like to see, let me know and I'll add it to the list. But that's it for 2024. Thanks for watching and thank you for your support. And here's to an excellent 2025. I'm Michael, KB9VBR. You have a great day and 7-3.